Praise the Lord. I want to say good morning to you, men and brethren. In Jesus' name, wherever you are hearing my voice today, I welcome you to my broadcast and channel today. In Jesus' name, I want to listen to me as you go on and read the Bible today, the book of Matthew chapter 15. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise for a miracle of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for your mercy and kindness and goodness that money cannot buy. I will let us read the word and the Holy Ghost take over. In Jesus' name, we pray. Matthew chapter 15, verse 1. Then came to Jesus, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that causeth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou might be profited by me, and honor his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by a tradition. Ye hypocrites, well, did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This will draw it nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor it me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandment of men. Verse 10. And he called the multitude. I said unto them, Hear and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father had not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Verse 15. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth goeth into the belly, and is cast out into the drought? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, blasphemies. Verse 20. These are the things which defile the man, but to eat with your washing hands defileth not a man. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciple came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lordship of the house of Israel. Verse 25. Then came she and worship him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And he said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And Jesus departed from thence and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee, and went up into a mountain and sat down there. And verse 30, And great multitude came unto him, say, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, men, and many others, and cut them down at Jesus' feet. He healed them. In so much that the multitude wondered, when they saw the dumb to speak, the man to behold, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, 
and may glorify the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, let them faint in the way. And his disciples said unto him, When should we have so much bread in the wilderness and to feed so great a multitude? And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and they few little fishes. Thirty-five. He commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and broke them, and gave the disciples, and the disciples to the multitude, and they did all eat. And we are filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was left, seven baskets full. And they that did eat were four thousand men, beside women and children. Finally, verse 39. And he sent away the multitude, and took sheep, and kept into the coast of Magdala. Praise the Lord. You see, where he fed five thousand men in Matthew chapter 14, from verse 25, and when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is not perhaps send the multitude away, that they may go into the village and buy themselves visuals. So at the end of the day, Amuda was fed five thousand in verse in chapter 14, chapter 14, from verse 25, verse 15 to verse 21, and with besides children and women. And you know, women always number where you have multitude. The same thing is also in this chapter 15, where he fed 4,000 men, not counting women and children. The Lord will multiply your resources, your capital to, to multitude, to multiply your, 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 your businesses, whether you are animal husbander, he will multiply your business. Are you a buyer and seller person? Are you an industrialist? You multiply your business because the Lord is God of increase, God of applications. I don't know what you are passing through. What do you think the Lord, who did this in those days, still the same God today, he has not changed. Praise the Lord. He will multiply you, he will increase you because he is the Lord. Now, again in verse 30, I say, Great multitude came unto him, having with them those that were lame blind, dumb, men, and many others, and cut them down at Jesus' feet, and heal them. Are you sick? What are curable and not curable? Terminal skin disease, diabetes, also high blood pressure, cancer, sickle cell anemia, whatever sickness, infirmities, afflictions, curable or not curable, he will heal you. He will deliver you. Frequent urations, symptoms of diabetes, he has done it before. I'm going to do it today, to tomorrow, to eternity. Because it's the Lord. I am the Lord that healed you. I am the Lord that healed you. He will heal you. Whatever affliction comes in your life, as he healed in those days in the Bible, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So I don't know the afflictions. The Lord will heal you in Jesus' name. Another place of note in this book of Matthew chapter 15 is verse 18. But those things which push out of their mouth come forth from the heart. And they defy the man. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, theft, false within blasphemy. These are the things which defy the man, but to eat with a washing hand, defile not the man. You see, sometimes some people say, Well, they don't eat this, they don't eat that. What the man is, the Bible says, not what makes a man unclean. So what defile a man. Walk out of a man, what makes a man unclean or defile the man. Praise the Lord. So out of the heart of man proceeds evil thoughts. Every action that one has done, whether good or bad, comes from the heart. Before somebody comes to the the thought comes from the heart, the magician, stealing, bloodshed, whatever affliction, whatever problems anybody has participated in, protecting himself or herself in, the thought comes from the heart. And that what makes a man unclean. That was made a man defied. Praise the Lord. You see? Uh, verse 13, he said, But he answered and said, Every plant of my heaven, for I have not planted, shall be rooted all. Because they were selling to him. 
that this thing you said that what a man eats is not meant to mess a man and clean. But what comes out of a man makes a man and clean? What comes out of a man makes a man and clean? Do you know that the Pharisees are not defiled? He said, yes. Every plan of having flowers and plan must be put out. He said, what makes a man unclean? What comes out of him? Not what he eats. What he goes into your body and goes out. Maybe you say you are a vegetarian. You say you are, don't eat meat. You don't eat this. What you eat makes a man unclean? Praise the Lord. So, I don't know. Whatever area you are falling short of God's glory. And in this book, or the one, two, three, fifteen, from verse one to last verse, verse nine, if you read it, you will get uh, some words that will suit your system, your nerves, to hurt your feet. In one only, the word of God is medicinal. It heals, it delivers, it cures. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. So, I know your prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we hear a word and pray a word, bless them, everyone and only, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering. Come on, Jesus, Father, as I pray. Touch them one by one, wherever they are hearing me, in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Praise the Lord.